My name is Ernie Diaz, I'm with Rav America, and what we have here today is the brand new Rav Aglioli's um, heavy duty truck alignment system, the TD8060 NA. In this video we're going to cover navigation of the software, installation of the wheel clamps and sensor heads, and the procedure and how to do an alignment on a three axle semi truck. So since what we have right now today here is a three axle freight liner, I'm just going to go ahead and press an arrow forward on my green button and select my easy trucks. Here, I'm going to go use arrow down, select all freight liners, arrow forward again, arrow forward one more time. The next screen here is showing me the actual configuration that I have. So from here, I'm just simply going to arrow forward. The next screen here is just showing me what my data spec is going to be. If I want to change the size of the wheel, I can just press that yellow button and it'll start blinking here at the top. And if I'm working with something else that is not a 22.5, I can simply just toggle on my arrows up and down until I achieve the size of the wheel that I have on there. Since the vehicle that we have here today has got 22.5s on it, you simply arrow forward. At this point here, we're ready to install our sensor heads on our wheels. So we'll move on to that. Bring it along into there. Get my uh, tire grabbers right onto the tire and you push the buttons in, and we're ready to go. My wheel clamp on here. And all we have to do is just repeat the process, you know, for corners of the truck. The sensors communicate with the computer via a Bluetooth signal. So what we gotta do, make sure that we turn on our sensor head. Here my sensor is on, and that will be the sensor head for the left side. So simply installed my front sensor head on here. Real sensor head here. So the same thing that happens on the computer here every time that I press this green arrow forward button, I can do it from the tablet. So if I simply just press that green arrow forward button, it'll advance the program for me. And now at this point, it's asking me to level my sensor heads in the front and make sure that my steerer head is right in the middle so we can start taking measurements. The sensor heads have an electronic level vial here that if I don't have my tablet or if I'm far away from the computer, I can just simply look at the, the uh, level vial in there and once my center light, it's blinking green and then I, I know that right at that point, my sensor is level and I can confirm it by my tablet here. So now we're gonna be leveling the right front sensor head, the same thing, just making sure that the little green LED light starts blinking green once it does, we're gonna have a sign on the screen that says stop. At this moment here, our, our alignment system is taking measurements. What it's asking us to do now is asking us to do a caster compensation. We're just gonna move this triangle or this lever until it gets to that green little box right there. And then it's going to ask us to go back to the right. And then we'll go back to center. And now we go to the screen where it's going to tell us exactly where our measurements is at. So if you want to check what do we have on our thrust axle, um, we just simply arrow down and that's what's going to give us what our thrust axle looks like. All we got to do is just press the green arrow forward button and this will take us right into the adjustment screen. Okay, so now we have adjusted that axle in the rear, so now we have it at zero where we want it to be at. So from here we're just simply going to arrow forward and now we're moving into what is our steer axle and we can see it here. So now that we have adjusted, you know, tie right in and it's a point zero we want it to be, all we're gonna do from here is just air forward again and we go to the next axle. I'm just gonna simply remove my sensor from the wheel clamp and push on my two handlebars and pull on my tire grabbers. And that'll bring my wheel clamp out, replace it in the scrub axle. Install it again. Get my sensor head back into place. Now the measurement of the scrub axle is completed. Simply press the arrow forward button, green button, and this will bring me right into my scrub axle here. 
From here we are forward again. We were able to get everything within the green. Steer axle removed to the scrub. It's right into the zeros where we want to see it. And then we see our thrust angle axle is also right at zero at the beginning. So from here, once you have all your measurements done, we're going to press the red button, the customer's name. Are you sure you want to save it? Yes. You know, now this alignment is saved. From there, I move over to the printing menu of the alignment system. Numbers change, you know, from one printout to the next. Diagnosis will be your before. Adjustments will be your after. This is where you have your zero out on all your axles, and you have your, you achieve the, the perfect toe adjustment in the front. If you want to give your customer a little bit more detailed uh, printout with more information, maybe to a body shop or an insurance company, you can always change this kind of printout to a numerical printout by simply pressing the blue button. And then this blue button, you're gonna see what, what the error was when it came in and what we were able to fix, you know, after all the adjustments that were done. So all I have to do from there, just hit my green button. It's asking me that I wanna exit this alignment. And am I sure? Yes. At this point, my alignment is done.